Welcome to another edition of Wake Up America, Wake Up. Folks, I am tired. I am tired of this immigration crisis that we're having. Not only is it affecting the safety of this country, but it is taking away much needed resources for the people for the citizens of the United States. Now, I don't have anything against immigrants. The border is secure. As long as you follow the immigration policies and the immigration law, because we are a nation governed by the Constitution. We are a nation of laws. But when you cross our southern border, or even our northern border illegally, then you've broken the law. So this immigration invitation that the Biden administration has seen fit through its open border policy. The border is secure. It's got to stop. In New York and in Chicago and many blue states, we have seen an influx of illegal immigrants, illegal aliens into those cities and they are draining capital resources that are needed by the homeless. Even our veterans who are homeless don't get to live in lavish hotels or play Xbox games or get flight tickets to their destination of choice. No, but that is what's happening because this administration and many far left leaning Democrats promising a better tomorrow. Yes, for themselves. I mean, you have AOC all out crazy supporting these immigrants to come into the country illegally. Yet, where is she while they're living in the streets, sleeping on the streets, or better yet, when they're in hotels, ransacking it, having sex in the halls, doing drugs and alcohol? Prevented from getting jobs, they are prevented from employment, and that is part of the strain on our public systems. The faster that folks can access the work that they're asking for legally, the better we can solve this problem. And this invasion that is happening across our southern border, and in small instances of our northern border, is only meant to destroy the United States of America as we know it. I mean, the Biden administration is doing a good job. Look at how the economy sucks. A lot of families have to make choices between fueling their vehicle or putting food on their shelves. That's a great economy. According to uh, Sideshow Bob Jean-Pierre. No, folks. Thank you, President Biden, you know, for taking the steps that you have, allowing illegal aliens to invade our southern border. Thank you, because we need that. We need illegal aliens to vote for Democrats, socialist Democrats, so they can stay in power. Folks, this invasion is real. And of course, let's not let's not leave out Alejandro Mayorkas. The border is secure. Who is telling us the border is secure? The border is secure. The border is secure. It is so secure that by chance, terrorists who are on the watch list are making it past the southern border. But that's okay because, according to him, the border, the border is, is secure. secure. It isn't. Neither is the safety of your family, of your children. Because the illegal immigrants that are coming in, a small percentage of them actually need asylum. 
But hey, you have males that are coming in with kids that not e they're not even parents to. And let's not disregard the fact that all the fentanyl that is flooding into this country. Well, tonight, the number of drug overdose deaths continues to climb in Texas and across the country. You know, we seem to hear about these heartbreaking stories time and time again. Here in Harris County alone, the DEA seized enough fentanyl last year to kill everyone in the greater Houston area. But the border, the border is, is secure. secure. It's more important for the Biden administration to control the narrative that we're not being invaded, but we are. It's not important that the immigration law is being circumvented, but it is. What's important is that we send out an open invitation via the open borders policy of the Biden administration so that he can destroy the United States as we know it. The brutal truth is, since this administration, we have seen more illegal immigration into this country than all the presidents combined. That is no lie. Look it up. Fact check it. This invasion of the United States is not only bringing in drugs, but it's also allowing for sex trafficking to take place. Not only is this a border crisis, but this is a humanitarian crisis, for God's sake. There are 86,000 children that are unaccounted for, and our administration and Alejandro Mayorkas, the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, seems to be okay with it. I'm not okay with it. Because that is someone's child be put into the sex trade. Because we have politicians that don't give a fuck. My goal is to inspire action to safeguard the lives of migrant children, including the staggering 85,000 that are missing. When I volunteered to help the Biden administration with the crisis at the southern border, as part of Operation Artemis, I was deployed to the Pomona Fairplex Emergency Intake Site in California to help HHS, Office of Refugee Resettlement, reunite children with sponsors in the United States. Now, whether it's intentional or not, it could be argued that the United States government has become the middleman in a large scale multi-billion dollar child trafficking operation. I care about those people that follow the rule of law when it comes to immigration law and policies. Because like I mentioned, I have friends who have been waiting decades to become American citizens, to pledge allegiance to the United States of America. Chicago has had it. Behind a newly installed chain link fence that surrounds a once bustling grocery store, there's no denying that movement is being made. As a taxpayer, it makes me feel horrible. I feel that we have a corrupt system. They are not listening to the people. Residents, including Annette Kane, have been speaking out against the encampment since the very start. So now I'm looking as a single mom, what about us? Like Kane, Jaquetta Vaughn's concern stems from a lack of resources for residents. How about build something for the kids, the community, um, but instead this is the first thing that you do is build a tent city. New York has had it. The migrant crisis continues straining city finances, and the mayor says as a result, all city agencies will be cut. But Morgan Mackay details if any departments will be spared in future rounds of cuts. Our national government defunded New York City. It's unbelievable. Mayor Eric Adams blaming the federal government for leaving the city to pick up the tab on the migrant crisis. More than 145,000 migrants have been housed by the city since last spring. And as a result, Adams implemented major 5% budget cuts that slashed billions from city programs, including the NYPD, FDNY, and the Department of Education. And this is only the beginning. So I want you to imagine 
500,000 legal immigrants going into survival mode. And they want to take away your Second Amendment rights. Oh, I'm, I'm not promoting violence. Not at all. I'm just telling you that when push comes to shove, how do you protect your property, your family, your life? You can't even talk about where these illegal immigrants are being sheltered because you'll get surrounded by these goons like what happened to this gentleman in New York. Yo, what is it, huh? Oh, it's a shelter. Oh, good looking. It's a shelter, my Pete. You heard? You're not supposed to do that. Excuse me? You're not supposed to film there. That's Who? what I'm saying. You, you're not supposed to film there. What is this? I don't know. You're not, you're not, you don't have right to do this. I don't have the okay. right to do what? Yes, you don't have right to film in here. That's what I'm telling you. What is this over here? And who are you? Okay, you want to know who I am? Please, sir. You're not, you don't have right to film here. I'm talking to you right now. You don't have right to film here. Can you please? Who are you? I don't know. Bro, Who are you? The building. They don't want nobody out here. They don't, they don't want nobody where? They're standing in front of the building Please. with a camera. Okay, oh, y'all bugging. And you really want to be recording, bro. You bugging. All right, you wait. You yo, wait. yo, why you surrounding me? Why are you surrounding me? You wait. Oh, now you want me to wait? No, you wait. What's up, yo? What's up with you, bro? Relax. Relax. Yo, why y'all surrounding me? What's up, yo? Relax. 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 You can talk to NYPD. Talk to who? I don't talk to Popos. I'm not a snitch. Who all talk to them? Stop playing with me. Room. Look at this bird. At yo, this. who are you, bro? Why are you on my property? Oh, your property? My property. Yo, stop playing with me, yo. Oh, dude. Don't you realize he's trying to bait you? Let him I'm about to knock him the f out. That's what I'm about to do. That'll move back. Enough is enough. I'm tired. I want to take back America for America for Americans. Let's vote out those politicians that support policies, that make laws, that circumvent the Constitution, that circumvent our Bill of Rights, that only want to profit on the misery, that's right, the misery of other countries' migrants, because that's what it is. But don't take away the resources of Americans that pay taxes, that believe in the rule of law, that believe in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, don't take their resources and give it to people who don't. Because illegal immigration is a cancer to this country, to the security of this country, and to our way of life. George Soros is behind it. Klaus Schwab is behind it. And one way they're, they're doing it is by having the influence on government officials in this country that allow the illegal invasion of the USA. And I'll leave you with this, folks. We believe that stopping illegal migration is necessary to protect our nation. We in Hungary decided to ask the people whether they want illegal migration or not. We held a referendum. Hungarian people decided they don't want migration, so they don't want to play by the rules of the progressives. They rejected the false claim that migrants cannot be stopped and forced us leaders to act. And we stopped illegal migration. We have actually built that wall and it stopped illegal migration. As Tucker Carson said when he visited us, quote, it's not a high tech wall, but guarded by people who love their country. When Donald Trump said America first, he meant America first. And we here at Wake Up America, Wake Up, also agree that America comes first. Signing off, folks. Thank you.